Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and let's talk about SFP and SFP Plus and a couple of these modules. I've dove into this topic before in another video, which I'll be linking to, but this is specifically about negotiation speeds between them. And can I use this 10 gig DAC cable, which is an SFP Plus DAC cable, in my one gig switch down here? Well, yes, but, and is there always, always a but? Just because it fits doesn't mean it'll work. But yes, they are physically compatible, there is a way to make them talk to each other. The reason for doing this video is it's a re quick reply that I want to send to a lot of people who ask this question, especially with many more ISPs offering an SFP as a handoff. People aren't necessarily sure exactly how to handle that. And they see that because it fits, but then they plug it in, it doesn't work. And hopefully this will solve that problem for them. So let's look at the setup real quick. First, the source switch is a Unify XG6 PoE. This particular switch has a fiber module and a DAC module in X. We're going to show how each of these work. This is connected at 10 gig to a MakerTik switch. And we've reviewed this switch before, and I'll be leaving a link to it down below. So here are the connections to this switch. But one of the things of note here, let's go over to link and look at the module support on here. And one thing that this does not have is those in-between speeds people might be asking about, such as 2.5 or 5 gig. Despite those standards being out for a while, there's still quite a few switches that do not support it. So if you have a handoff from your ISP and you do not have a switch that supports the in-between speeds, you probably can't link at that in-between speed. It's just not likely to work. You have to be able to set the negotiation speed because negotiation with set to auto does not work 100% of the time with these different cables as we're going to demonstrate. Now the other switch we have at the bottom here is a one gig edge switch X and this just has two ports here and that are SFP but not SFP plus which means physically it'll fit but it will not automatically work. But as you can see we'll go back to the first page this is connected at 10 gig and this is connected at 10 gig and the 10 gigs land over here on SFP in this so we have the SFP one here and then we have each of these. Now, the one in between is the one I wanted to cover as well. And I've got a whole breakdown of all these different modules that convert SFP plus to UTP and give you 10 gig. These are pretty cool modules and I'll leave a link to that video. But one of the things I'll mention right away is this module right here. Even though it will fit in a port it won't do anything. Well, it'll get a little bit warm, but it won't do anything in this. So these, if you want them to work, you have to get a one gig one to put in a one gig port. The 10 gig ones won't drop down compatibility, or maybe if there's a module that has at least none of the different ones I've tried from different companies would work inside of here. Uh, they're 10 gig and 10 gig only, except for they can negotiate down from a 10 gig on the RTP, UTP side to a lower speed, but yeah, you wouldn't really wanna buy these and put them in these ports anyways. So we'll take these out of the mix. That leaves us with the DAC and the fiber. So let's go ahead and plug the DAC in and plug that in here. Then we'll take the fiber, pull it out of here, move that in, move the fiber in. Now we can go back over to the switch. They're missing from here and let's see what it says in the edge switch. So. It's thinking, it takes a minute, but I'm going to assume, yep, there we go, that the port would link, and it did. It was able to negotiate down, and we'll look over here at the Unify, it negotiated down right here. The fiber, not so much so. So that 10 gig copper fiber module decided, nope, I'm not going to negotiate down to speed, but that's where we're gonna have to take it where it is set over here and say, nope, you're talking to on the other end, actually scroll down here. On the other end, you are talking to not a two and a half gig, but a one gig. This is where you have to just kind of force it if you're doing a fiber handoff. Then go ahead and hit apply. It'll take a second to reprovision and push the change to that switch. And we'll go over here while that's pushing. And in a moment, we should see this light right up. Now, what's interesting is, yes, this 10 gig fiber module plugged in. And so you can plug, depending on switch, your mileage may vary, but you're likely to find compatibility with the fiber modules to work. And so this one right here will work on the port. It just will work at the slower speed. Now, that we've got it negotiated. It's now talking to it because it doesn't know how to try to talk 10 gig. So it only tries to talk one gig. That's why you have to be on the other side and force negotiate it. DAC is a little bit smarter, but I have seen some switches that aren't where you still have to set 
the negotiated speed to be the same on both. Now, the last thing I'll leave you with, besides the links to the videos where I dive a little more in depth on this topic, is the compatibility of the modules themselves. This is where things get a little bit tricky, and I'm holding a Cisco Catalyst 1000 in my hand. Now, Cisco Catalyst 1000 is kind of an exception to some of the other Cisco's that someone may say, yeah, you can have non-Cisco modules in here, no problem, just put them in, and then there's a somewhat undocumented feature you can turn on in Cisco to make them work. This is where things get a little bit more convoluted with Cisco because it does work in many of the models, but not every model, including as we found out the Catalyst 1000. I'll leave a link to review I did on these. But what I'm hoping this answers the question is when you have your ISP handing off a different speed, you may need to even put a switch in between because some Firewalls that do have 10 gig don't offer those in between speeds and may not auto negotiate. So if you are excited and you're getting, and we have a few clients that we've run into this, they're getting two and a half gig internet and they try to plug it directly into maybe whatever firewall they have. And if that firewall does not have support for two and a half gig, even though they have an SFP plus on there, it may not work. At that point, you'll have to find an intermediary switch in between to plug it in so you can do the conversion to get the compatibility, but hopefully this clears that up for people. And for a little bit more in-depth knowledge on all these different connectors, I will leave the individual videos I've done down below. But like I said, hopefully this saves you a little bit of troubleshooting time and some head scratching because, you know, ideally let's just get everything 10 gig, but hey, the real world uh, treats us a little bit differently. So there's the compatibility layers in between that we have to deal with. All right, and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a Sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.